in this last lesson of this quick start tutorial on how to light an interior space in V-Ray for Cinema 4D, we will cover lighting interiors at night. You can download the scene from the link below and follow along. We will start from where we left off in the last lesson. Make sure to check out the previous video in case you missed it. I will clear the HDRI slot of the dome light and untick the box that says use texture and I will replace the white with the dark blue color to represent the color of the sky at night. As an alternative we can use a night HDRI picture and obtain a very similar result as we showed you in the daylight example, but this is not necessary. Let's test render to see the results. We can see the blue color of the dark sky coming in. Now let's add the rectangular light from the V-Ray drop down menu. Let's position this inside the pendant light on top of the chairs in the living area. Let's change the light parameters. I will switch the intensity units from default to radiant power to use watts as an intensity unit. And I will turn the power of the light up to 30 watts. I will also change the light color to something warmer like a mild yellow. Let's test render again. I will now copy this light inside of all other pendants. I will make a group of all these lights and move them to the bottom of the hierarchy to keep my file organized. I will also change the color of the other lights to add a bit of variation in the light like it would happen in real life. Let's test render one more time. I think the image looks good. I will add three more lights at the back to add even more variation. Let's test render again. As you can see, these lights at the back shine in all directions. We can change these and give them a more directional feeling by changing their direction value to something like 0.8. I will also change their individual color to add a bit more variation. Before rendering this time, I will enable the bloom and glare effect in the lens effect tab of V-Ray and by clicking on interactive as well as use hardware acceleration. Now the final image will render with the addition of the bloom and glare effect that you can modify by activating the effect tab, clicking the icon at the bottom of the VFB. The bloom and glare panel will open up on the left. Once you're happy with the result, you can still control the final look of the image using the post-production tools included inside of V-Ray as shown in previous lessons. Thanks a lot for watching.